those of you who have seen a couple of my tutorials probably know that I'm quite obsessed with titles. I love text and fonts and things like that. Six months ago, I did a video on the new titles in Adobe Premiere Pro. And today, I want to just follow that up because I also did another video talking about the fact that roll and crawl titles didn't exist. But fortunately, and finally, six months out down the line, Adobe in their October release, so about a month ago now, did put roll and crawl titles officially back in to the title tool. So here we go. This is how you create it. I've just got a couple of clips here, which I've uh, graded and put together, and I'm just going to put some titles on them. So uh, usual method, select the type tool down here in the left and let's start typing. Originally, uh, Initially you get your box and you can adjust everything later, but let's just start with, I don't know, director James Peters. And let's go down and say camera John Eggs. Don't know why. <laughs> it's just the first word that came into my head. And uh, exec Cuter. This would like be nice to have people, wouldn't it? Actually, working on stuff. Executive producer. Gemma Kane. Okay. So now, what I would do probably is start playing around with that title a bit. Not really relevant to the tutorial, but uh, make sure at this point that you do have your essential graphics window up here and just uh, go, go into window here and uh, make sure it's enabled essential graphics where you put it on your worktop uh, on your um, workspace rather is up to you you know you can drag click and drag this anywhere you want just where you want it to be it kind of fits okay here for me it's not brilliant but it fits all right the size thing is a bit small so maybe i'll just make my um color a bit smaller so I'm, I'm gonna do a change to the whole font I'm gonna just select the whole lot of the text and uh, change that font from to Homer to something that I actually like let's go to Lato and then you can change your sizing here this is all preference preference stuff you know you don't have to do any of this okay there we go what do you think? Center or not center? Mm, I'm going to center it. Well, let's go to here and center and then align it into the center of the screen. But that doesn't matter too much because we now, if we step away from here and now go so to our timeline, we have our graphics. So in this case, text, but it's a, basically a graphic that we have. And if you click on that and go back to here in your essential graphics area, you can see you have a roll option. Just a little insignificant text uh, checkbox here, which you can check. And then you get the stuff that you're oh so familiar with. The start off screen, end off screen, and uh, well, look, look, ease in and ease out options as well to start things slowly and brilliant. And you've got a little scroll bar down here in, in the uh, monitor window which allows you to kind of see pretty much what you'd see. And uh, and of course, the duration can be just varied by changing the length of this. So uh, I obviously haven't typed much text there. So this is going to go super slow, but let's just have a look how it looks anyway. So if I just span this over a couple of, cl couple of clips and just see how that works. So I'm starting off screen and I'm ending off screen. This is probably what I would want in a rolling title. So... <laughs> My God, that would be painfully slow. Okay, it's a bit, a little bit slow. Let me just check, take off high quality playback, reduce this a bit. All right, so I would, I'd obviously have more titles in there, so that would work. And let's make it a bit quicker. There we are. Nice. Easy as that. Doesn't take long, does it? Nice to have that option back. Thank you, Adobe, for adding that. It only took you like six months to do it, but, uh, you know, thank you for adding that back in. Really nice and simple now. No, no need to mess about with keyframes, as in the previous video that I advised. I'm not going to delete that video, um, but I will put a comment at the top of it and just sort of say for the latest um, version of this, if you're using Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2018, which I suppose this is. What version is this? Let me have a look. It's this version, so CC version 12, Haberdasher. 
yeah, if you're using that, then you can do this much more simply. But you can still use that method, of course. You can still position and do keyframing on position. That works fine. But uh, no need to do it anymore. Good stuff. Thanks for watching. Put your comments below. And uh, if you've got any suggestions for videos, in, uh, particularly in Premiere, let me know. And uh, please subscribe if you enjoy the vids. I will catch you soon. Bye.